how are you guys doing? Welcome to the diversity part of the show. I know how you guys feel. It's like you called up Bank of America and you got me. Bunch of racists down here, all right. Cool. Brown dude, and uh, I have what is called as brown privilege. <laughs> what that is is when I'm at the airport, I can just leave my stuff behind, go use the restroom, and come back, <laughs> and my stuff would still be there. <laughs> Nobody's touching that shit. <laughs> All I have to do is just kneel down, say a prayer, and then just leave. <laughs> when I come back, for some reason, there is that 500 feet radius of people just guarding my stuff. Which is some amazing privilege for your luggage that you white folks are missing out on. If brown privilege ever becomes like a seven day premium trial or some shit like that, just try it out. You might like it. But pretty much everything else is a disadvantage. In fact, my greatest disadvantage is that I say disadvantage that way. <laughs> Not sexy. In fact, you'll probably see a, bar, a guy at the bar tonight going like, a, Oh yeah, I was just talking to this chick and then one thing led to another and then now she won't stop calling me, man. That is a white man's problem. I don't have that problem. Even if I'm around a drunk white woman, at best, at best, she's going to be like, Hey Uber driver, take me home! <laughs> Which I gladly do for five bucks extra. Hit me up after the show. I think my greatest disadvantage is those that uh, when I'm at the airport, I have to walk around with what is called as brown guilt. I have resting bitch face. I don't like to smile. I'm with you, ladies. <laughs> but when I'm at the airport, I have to smile a little extra just so that white people are comfortable. I'll be like, hello, sir. Hello, ma'am. Happy New Year, officer. Like, I'm not even wearing a hat. You know what I'm saying? Being wrong. I grew up in India. Uh, you guys must be thinking, oh, this guy is from a third world country. Must have had like third world problems, right? No. We only had solutions. <laughs> yeah, is there a pile of trash blocking the street? No problem. Just walk around it, bro. Is there a cow walking during traffic? No problem, just wait, it will go. No power for four hours, just wait, it will come. Life was pretty simple, I was a very non-violent and patient guy. I came to this country and I got spoiled. I started having first world problems. Last week I lost Wi-Fi. I understood the meaning of the word furious. I called up customer care, they routed the call to India. <laughs> and before I knew it, here I was complaining to another Indian dude about the lack of Wi-Fi. <laughs> and that dude is like standard script. He's like, okay, hi, I'm Bill Hoover, how's it going? Oh yeah, I'm John McIntosh, how do you think it's going, huh, huh? That dude is still standard script. He's like, I, uh, can you just make sure if the router is plugged in, sir? I'm like, I, I got it, buddy, I got it, okay? Shut up, shut up, I got it. I work in IT, okay? Like, I'm not a fucking white dude, okay? <laughs> Don't baby me. Skip 10 steps, like, turn the page to troubleshooting for Indians or some shit. <laughs> as soon as he heard I was Indian, he said, Oh, you don't have Wi-Fi. Just wait, it'll come. <laughs> uh, that's my time. Thank you guys. You guys have been fantastic.